Good evening, everyone. This is Umar Qureshi, and today I'm going to enjoy myself doing this fabulous interview with a very, very, very dear friend of mine called Ravina Tandon. We both uh, have a birthday which overlaps by a day, so we always uh, used to cut a cake together. And now it's time to cut a cake again because it is Ravina Tandon, the lovely Ravina's 25 years of Mohra, and she's still looking as fabulous as she was when she was 16. Welcome, Ravina. <laughs> Hi, OQ. Uh, trust you to have an introduction like that for me. <laughs> I always said you were in love with me. You should have married me. You made the biggest mistake letting me go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but right now, I'm you know, to... I love to see Omar blush, and I think I've managed it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, that's true. So, how many years we've been friends? Yeah, OQ. Really, I mean, it's been ages. So I was just going back and doing some research on the kind of uh, you know questions, and I said the first time I set eyes on you uh, was at the Patthar Ke Pool party at RG's. There was a nightclub. Yes, and, and you were the one. Every other actress, you know, when the uh, new actresses used to come and dance with, uh, with everyone, with the crew, you sat in a corner like one ice maiden, you know, and you refused to move. And you said, "I'm. I made my appearance, and I'm going to leave." And you met everyone polite, but uh, you were always very, very different from all other actresses. Well, I I actually love to dance and stuff. There must be some reason, or maybe I just was. um too overwhelmed by the whole thing but uh uh i don't remember the rg's party honestly but um, as you know me from so many years i'm definitely not a snob so an ice maiden i've never been in fact i've been accused of being over friendly with everybody and you know that i should keep my mouth shut and i have a foot in the mouth disease <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's it's quite con- the ice maiden thing is quite contrary as far as i'm concerned because No. um uh, uh, ismaid but you had rules you had uh, very strong uh, views and rules for yourself always a strong minded woman uh, so i remember one photo shoot where you said i will not wear this dress i will not wear it if i don't wear tights yeah so <laughs> yes so that is what i remember and you and me remember sumit chopra's uh, house the first tardis shoot uh, that you and me did right and uh, you came late so i was there before you with my hairdresser and uh, there was nobody there besides me and sumit chopra right. and sumit chopra made us sit on the balcony and he ordered chinese food for himself and didn't even ask us if we wanted to eat anything oh <laughs> seriously i'll never forget sumit for that i always tease him i said just because i was a newcomer and i was nobody he didn't even ask me will you have lunch and we were starving and me and my hairdresser were poorting and i was what 16 and a half so she and me all just looking at each other's face okay what are we supposed to do we are in this somebody's uh, studio and we don't know how what to do where to go and then eventually you guys came and yes i think we got some tea and some stuff to uh, snack on and uh, i remember that shoot yes uh, i did definitely have uh, a few things when i entered the industry which i will my do's and don'ts which i've stuck to even now and uh, it has kind of worked for me in every way oq and i'm glad that i stuck to my principles when i made them right before and i've not compromised them for anyone or anything or anybody even if it meant losing very very big films but uh, that was something that i guess that's just me <laughs> no i owe you a uh, i owe you a couple of dinners especially chinese yeah. <laughs> yeah so we'll do that for sure Uh, but in the meantime, congratulations! Uh, 25 years of the must must girl. Uh, you came in and uh, you took over with a bang. You know, like just made everyone sit up. Who's this must must girl? <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. Uh. Uh. Yes. Uh. Mora, I think is one of my earlier uh, most renowned hits. Uh. But before that, I had Dilwale, I had uh, Imtihan, and Nandas Apna Apna. All these had released. but i think uh, the the song uh, you know made a complete a phenomena of the entire film you know so it became uh, on a it the it was success on a different level altogether and uh, i'm still being called that and i and i love it and i appreciate and i thank everybody whoever made mora into a big success and i think uh, a lot of credit goes to, uh, and, and and a lot of thanks goes to the audience Uh, who loved the song till date tip tip is played every time the rainy season comes in uh, yeah. and um, yeah everywhere i go they say oh you have to dance tip tip bas ka pani pe as like this is not clockwork <laughs> chavi do start karo <laughs> but i i i love the appreciation yet yeah. and um, i think uh, it's is very kind of everyone to to give it the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, recognition that it has been getting 
Yeah, you mentioned Andaz Apna Apna and uh, that was not appreciated or not accepted at the time it came out but ahead of its times and today it's a cult film it's an iconic film you know uh, so yes yeah. absolutely but you know okay you want us to understand actually those times were different in those days yeah. uh if you notice the kind of comedies that were working in those days were uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know very um uh, uh I I think the comedies that were working in those days were there was a, a Chichi and uh, David style of movies. There was another style of movies also which had little double meaning dialogues and things like that, which were made by unknown producers. I I, I don't know whose movies they were, but that was the kind of comedy that was unfortunately working in those days. So when Andaz Apna Apna came, which was a very straight faced, you know, uh, uh, poker faced kind of comedy and intelligent comedy and. it took people some time to sit back and say ye kya hai you know we are used to that kind of stuff yeah. you know a lot of telugu remakes and all were being made in those days so that was the style i i analyze it like that uh i don't see any other reason because like you said yourself that it's a cult film now and it's recognized uh, you know world over globally as one of the cult classics it is but you know omar i i have to tell you a very sweet incident in fact uh which which i keep in my mind uh, for for it 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 was really sweet what happened uh i remember when we had the success party of mora uh and uh, as soon as i walked in and the entire press and everything was there and sonam uh, i think they had just released a film earlier before that which had not done so well uh, just before mora and as soon as i walked in sonam who was uh, 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 Rajiv Rai's wife and and our uh, uh, you know like Kali she was an actress herself and uh, she loudly screamed and came and hugged me and said Ravina a lucky mascot you know and since that day that lucky mascot thing has stuck on to me with a lot of filmmakers and a lot of uh, you know articles or anything i read always known as a lucky mascot in those days that if she is there a movie will you know kind of do well in fact Hari Baveja and all even if i was not doing their movie they would insist that i would do one scene or one shot like for example rajkumar santoshi ji had me in ghatak yeah you know just for that one shot in damini he insisted i'm there you know they said no only if you're there in the movie because uh-huh. uh, originally actually uh, ghatak was offered to me yeah uh, opposite sunny uh, but then uh, uh, i think uh, raji had a uh, you know some pressure he was under and then he had to take someone else for that and uh, that is what happened with ghatak but ghatak was also i think just uh, before uh, just before ziddi yeah, uh, yeah i think then ziddi became a very big hit with sunny and me as well so that's how it you know that i i still thank sonam for that uh, that you know whole good. thing i that's that's something so close to my heart but tell me what uh, uh, the media at that point uh, you found them a little tough on you a little harsh on you Why don't you answer that question? <laughs> don't give me that look. <laughs> yeah. Later we became the best of friends. Yeah. But all our old friends. Yeah. <laughs> may they rest in peace. <laughs> oh boy. Or in pieces someday. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Scorpio touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yes, you know, even now, okay, when I read a lot of blogs and I read a lot of people who've been hurt, you know, I think uh, what what was wrong in those days was yellow journalism. I think they expected everybody who came into the line was either either uh, you know off the roads or off the streets, yeah. or uh, you know not educated or uh, completely dumb or. uh completely slutty that is all the four categories that i think journalists in the, in those days thought that uh, people were uh big and or had a you know hide of a rhino of of a rhinoceros because the the kind of stuff they used to write can bring anyone to tears and yes i've had my share of tears and yes i've had a great share of fake stories false stories uh fake news uh you know allegations thrown on me without proof without anything just here say and i went through that and yes a lot of tears and a lot of sleepless nights but hey when i look back at it now i think it made me uh, tougher and stronger as a person but i take it positively but god forbid they do that to anyone else you know it is it is really really sad and there are some people who just can't take it and some people who who buckle under pressure i fought back at every given point and every interview of my noq you remember you pick up any of the 90s interviews in all those interviews i've said time will tell 
who is lying and who's not who's yeah. a liar and who's not time yeah. will tell and know. as as you've seen over the years character wise it's all out in the open whose character is how and where and where and what and who you yeah. know so it's it's all there you can you can wear a mask only for that 15 minutes but lifelong you can't hold on to that mask right, right. so that there, there will be a time where they where people will see through you yeah that's so true. it is it is it is something that i've said in my interviews even then that it's one life we all here and in this lifetime only you will see you know <laughs> that who was who and what was what so it's for everyone to see do you think that today's media does a lot more fact checking like the electronic media or uh, they are a little easier or a little much more tough the i think it is much much better than what it used to be then because over here in 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 today's time you have instagram you have twitter you have a lot many platforms facebook etc whatever whatever to put your point across to give the kind of proof that you need to for everyone to see and there is your side of the story in the 90s we had no side of the story even if we wanted to beat our chest and say the truth and even if the newspaper or the magazine agreed that they had written a false story their apology would come only in one bottom line somewhere at the back of an obscure page which was for nobody to read but by the time the headline was gone the harm had been done your image was spoiled your you know your family was shamed you were shamed it was it was uh, it was something which was irreparable in those days the headline the screaming headlines had gone across and that's all what mattered even to the magazine people that how many magazines they're going to sell it was all about the money so i don't know how sometimes i think how those journalists even now probably like there's so many times as age you know you you grow older you retrospect about what you've done what you've not done i wonder how those guys sleep well at nights i mean i hope to god their conscience hurts them if they have any conscience that is so it it yeah it is it is it is very tough it's undoubtedly tough yeah uh tell me how's the pandemic treating you so you're locked in at home and uh, you're doing some amazingly cute videos with your little ones yeah yeah i it's it's been fun actually because i think somewhere along in this in this un- unfortunately um it's a lesson it has been an expensive it's it's been a very expensive lesson for human kind to learn yeah. uh with the kind of casualties and fatalities that we've had with so many people passing away all over the world globally it's it's really really sad but on on to see the 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 little silver lining on that dark cloud i think we've all got time uh which is invaluable which will never probably come back again the kind of bonding time that we've all had with our families and we are having with our families uh, otherwise we all running around okay you know how it is you're running around trying to meet deadlines you're uh, shooting children are in school they're in classes blah 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 and and it's now we having lunches together we are playing pictionary we are you know doing different things and it's so much so much more fun we're watching good movies together i'm getting that time with my children really and i'm i i thank god for that yes so recommend five movies ah oh, recommend five movies now what did i see sure. recently <laughs> <laughs> um i watched a movie called the cave Oh. Okay but it's it's not really a movie it's a more docu movie which came on Nat Geo and it is about this one uh, female doctor called Amani Dr Amani uh who is literally living in an underground hospital and they go underground through caves secretly built caves etc in Syria Oh okay okay and uh it is unbelievable because she lives in this full misogynistic society where first of all a lot of men don't want to be treated by a female doctor and yeah. they say you should be home who are you managing the hospitals so she faces that every day in her life yeah. she sees chemically burnt children and cannot bear with it i mean it is it is an eye opener of how privileged we are to a certain extent sitting in our homes with what we have today in a city like mumbai having the freedom as a woman to say and do what i want and and be in any profession in the world i thank god that i was born in india and the fact that that those children there who will never see a better future you know it is it is it's what what an eye opening film and what a i mean how heroic are those young doctors those lady doctors and those doctors who are treating 
uh, these citizens who are stuck unfortunately in a situation like what is happening in Syria I'll catch that for sure you yeah. must it is it, is, it was unbelievable and I was like I wish there was more I even though it's a docu drama but you wish that there was so much more tell me uh, movie wise how different is the industry today as compared to uh, as as filmmakers like as the quality of films and the quality of stories today uh, versus earlier i think the quality of films uh, omar is definitely fantastic i mean i want to ask you when are you finally writing and producing a movie of your own you must this is the time i'll have because, a con- that conversation with you right after this <laughs> <laughs> because this is the time i mean whether it is uh, ott platforms or it is the kind of cinema that we have been seeing in theaters right. today is yes, not not now uh, sorry not now in this lockdown but yes hoping that future ahead uh but it's 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 great because the different stories being accepted there are all kinds of actors being accepted it's not that oh you have to be a stereotype kind of looking yeah. hero or uh, actress you can be you can be anyone and 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 anything and uh the kind of experimental cinema also that is working so i think you know somewhere even the audiences taste sub they've, they've broadened their horizons so we are looking at very very interesting time in uh, indian cinema at the moment i think it's 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 a, it's a fab time yeah it is uh, amazing you know like diversity of content. yeah amazing amazing uh, but do you watch any of your old films any time with your family and kind of you know or laughs <laughs> so you know what was what was uh, fantastic is like i said the bonding time that we are having with children we are watching movies etc also together a uh, day before yesterday we sat and watched golmal the oh. the the amol palekar utpal yeah, yeah. that Hmm. uh golmal with the kids with with bindya and uh, uh devan varma ji and all and i made my kids see those so what i'm really enjoying is watching these old classics and now next on our list is uh, after golmal which one angoor we're yes. going to show them angoor and then we're going to show them uh, padosan yeah. uh, wow. you know all these films uh, which i want to show the kids and i'm really enjoying watching with them we finished the whole entire series of charles chaplin watched all of his films all over again they had already seen when they were kids but we redid an entire amazing it, you know thing with them a uh, festival so uh, we 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 really enjoying doing that and i want to show them the classic indian classic uh, and yes. out of that i also said i said now you all should see the films also which your uh, nana has made like i want to show them anhoni khel khel mein uh, you know khudar i want to show them all those films then i want to show them the films that dada released you know as a distributor which anil releases as a distributor and then finally i'll show them some of my films which i feel are age appropriate for them to see <laughs> i think all your movies are age appropriate <laughs> yeah actually i did decent stuff yeah you did decent except when people say oh my god too hot in tip tip then i wonder should i show this to my kids or no but they've seen it anyway because tip tip bazaar pani is everywhere so you think wait when you were in new york for that uh, india day parade Uh, like everyone was tip 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 bravina tip tip bravo yeah yeah that was so much fun that tip tip that uh, sorry you know that tip tip that whole trip was so much fun yeah you open to uh, like uh, like different kinds of movies different uh, will you be open to web series and you know digital shows now well i have signed a web series on the ott platform Uh, a lot of good ones were offered to me as well but uh, i was kind of waiting for something that would be you know my liking right uh but uh, i have signed one now eventually we've been in fact doing script readings for it so hopefully as soon as everything uh, you know opens up uh, we are honestly on the verge of like ready to shoot kind of thing right and, and luckily i finished kgf kgf <laughs> 2 i finished shooting for it in feb and i came back so that was a good thing that got over yeah yeah and what tip do you have for talent who's trying to make it in movies and uh, you know who want to uh you know who want to do the right thing and go about it the right way like you did what what do you have to say to them you know mara i believe in a very uh, simple funda if you're hard working uh, you're dedicated you're sincere and you're talented and yes a bit of luck is just definitely yeah uh, you know necessary uh, everyone doesn't get lucky initially i also went through a struggle period i had initial movies didn't that do that well i was called a jinx also at a certain point but then after that it turned into a lucky mascot but yeah. i never let go of my hard work i never let go of my professionalism so if you're here to work then you must work and you must focus on that and i think that uh, then 
I think nothing or no one can stop you. No one can take away your kismat from you. Yeah. And uh, finally, like, what tip do you have for people, uh, you know, who want to look as good as you? And uh, like, how do you manage that? I mean, you're looking amazing. Well, I guess when you're happy in your heart, it kind of shows on your face. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's showing a lot. You're a very happy person. Yeah, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you so much Ravina. Thank yeah, you. Absolute pleasure as always. Yeah. Yeah. Speak and to you soon. You.